Okay. All right, ladies, the free motion transparent foot. We like it because you can see what's going on underneath it. You'll need to drop your feed dogs for those of you that have that type machine. If not, you need to cover them. There. And tell them where the feed dogs are. <clears throat> on this machine, the feed dog slide button is back here. That drops them. The Elisimo, you actually have it on your screen where you can choose the open-toed foot. It looks foot. like a little chain thing, doesn't it? It, it? looks like a little... I figured that out yesterday. I kept trying to see. find how to make it's those go same. down. And then I, when it's I hit that button. Thing like this. Yeah, it looks like a C. Yeah. And it kind of does this. Yeah. I think it has a little yeah, stitch like on that. I didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. Um, is it in here? White fabric. How much are these feet? But we've got what machine do you have? You've got it. Can you look at this? Well, we don't have the clear one, I don't think. I think it's why? We don't have something with a spray. Yeah, it's in, in there. Um, we don't have any. Oh. Don't the Elisa have this? I don't think these this? are new. Um, these are fresh out of the box. I don't have the price on them. I want to say they're twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. dollars It works great. How does it compare to what we have with our it's a, it's a little one, bit right? different. The, no, uh, Does it have a spring on it? I think yeah, maybe the Elise Mogul. Yeah. 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 We have one. It works great. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I thought we did. I thought I have one. I've shown these several times. I didn't know what it was. So you probably, I don't know if all of you have it or not. But. So what do you use it for? Oh, free motion. Okay. And how much are those feet? I want to say they're twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. We'll have to check and make sure. What I intended on bringing, and I left at home. This is my morning. Um, is I used to do rubber stamps, so I have a lot of rubber stamps, and I had one that had some. Um, it was a flower stem and a flower. They were two separate, so I had to stamp the stem and stamp the flower, and then I had little pieces on the grass. So I stamped that on my fabric and did what we call thread painting and it just turned out so cute it was so much fun but i'm going to show you how to do it first so you have it on your phone then i'll show you my thread painting you do it on that little girl's dress did you do it oh on no that? that's painting oh okay I painted painting it. Yeah. all right okay i'm going to start out with a darker thread and all i'm going to do is stitch some lines when you use your free motion foot you always need to turn your tension up as high as it'll go because there's no presser foot on there for it to press against so it needs higher tension. I turned mine all the way up to nine. You'll want to bring up the bobbin thread so lower your needle and bring it back up. Pull up the bobbin thread. I probably cut my bobbin thread so make sure you have a full bobbin when you start Or have another one handy. I'm telling you. Does turning up the tension apply to all the machines? When you use the free motion foot, yes. Yes. Okay. I never heard of that. Is that why I have some stitches that are long? Some. That's just because your yeah. That's your that's your regulation of. You have true stitch. You shouldn't have. That. I don't know how to use it. We've got to get you to use it. Me neither. So. We just need a true a, stitch is a, an option. We need a class. No. Okay. Now that I have my thread on top, all I'm going to do is go up in a line and come back down that same line. Go up again. All I'm doing is making little grass, and, and they need to be jagged. My grass isn't all the same height. Mm -hmm. I'm not following anything on here. I did have it on my stamp. Like I said, this is another way of using your cohabitating with your other crafts. Very <laughs> 
I do have. I actually have probably, I know I have more than I need. I went to try to get rid of some the other day. I got rid of a bunch. You could use your, right, you could use your friction pen and draw it on there. Now I used a darker green and now I'm going to switch to a lighter, medium type green. Denise, when you turn the tension up, what happens to the bottom thread? Is it more hidden or does it go? It stays down on the bottom. It's tighter on bottom and doesn't allow it to pull to the top. All right. So now I'm going to start about midway of the grass that I'd already done and go up. Same one, I'm going to fill in a little bit in between. So what she's saying is you have to have some type of, uh, or some artistic, right. It's free motion. And go down and fill in. Come up. You just get to where you're, you get a little more used to doing it. Okay, I'll stop now. And I got a piece that got caught all the way across. Okay, now I'm going to take that one off and go to my light up screen. Back and forth over Just up and down what I've already done. Oh. I got a piece of um, thread. thread caught going across. My grass is growing sideways. Actually, if you look at it from a distance, it looks pretty good. I do have a piece of cutaway. Now I'll just do the lighter tips of the grass on top. You're just giving it some dimension using the different colors. Okay? Now I'm going to show you my stamped piece that I did at home, which I love how it came out. Wow. Using all the different colors. And then I did the flower. It's there. I just kept going over it and over it okay. and over it, and it's covered up. But you'll see it when I pass it around. It was so cute. It was turned out so cute, and I had so much fun doing it. Oh, how cool. Uh -huh. You can be to <laughs> Yes, I got to bed at 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> Which is pretty good, yes. You'll see it. Gotcha. Now, to fill in, like I filled in on the flower. It's just the same thread, and I just, I'm just going to make some little petals. Yes, but if you have stamps, it's really easy because you have lines to go by. You could also transfer a pattern of some sort. You really don't. You have when you use a stamp, you stamp the image on there and go to town on the lines. Now I would make the outline just a little bit darker. Carbon paper. Do they even make that anymore? Yeah, do they? Ah, dressmakers uh, carbon. You oh. could use that. Then go 
to a lighter yellow to fill in the colors of the flower. Now when I go to fill in, I can change my stitch to a zigzag and it goes across and kind of fills in better. Again, remember to turn up your tension. Is that still with your free motion? Still with the free motion foot. Go back to there. On the Alessimo go, do you would turn your tension up to? I'd like to do a Yes. You want to try to keep your outer swing on the edge of the um, pedal. Turn my zigzag stitch down just a little bit. Which machine is this? This is the Allure Plus, Baby Lock Allure Plus. So are you going to do anything after Come back this? with a shadow. Yeah. No, after this, I think that's it. We've got about time. 12 minutes now. I'm going to cut this off. Okay. <laughs>